Welcome to Native Engineering. This is a lesson number five on IC engine power machines and six. And on this lesson, we are doing an exercise, which is an exercise I have taken from my test book. And it reads as follows. A five-cylinder petrol engine operates on the four-stroke cycle. And during a test, the following readings were taken. Cylinder diameter is equals to 75 millimeters. Stroke is equals to 75 millimeters. Mass on brake arm of 400 millimeters length. It's equals to 20 kg at an engine speed of 3600 rads per minute. Mean effective pressure from indicator diagram. It's equals to 700 kilopascal. Fuel consumption. It's equals to 10.9 kg per hour. Heat value of the fuel is equals to 44.5 megajoules per kg. Assume the gravitational acceleration at 9.81 meters per second square. And then the questions. Question number one, they say, calculate the brake torque and brake power. Question number two, calculate the indicated power and mechanical efficiency. Question number three, calculate the indicated thermal efficiency. And this is the information that we are given. We are told that the engine that we are working with is a five-cylinder, four-stroke engine. The mass, that is the information of the dimanometer. The mass in the dimanometer is 20 kg. The radius is 400 millimeters and the rotational frequency is 3600 revs per minute. And then this is the diameter of the piston and the stroke length of the piston. We are now given the mean effective pressure. And we are given the mass of the fuel which is 10.9 kg per hour. The heat value and the gravitational acceleration. And then we are told, they gave us the questions. Question number eight, they say calculate the brake torque and brake power. Number eight. We know torque. Sorry. We know torque it's given by R times F, which is the radius times force, which will be our radius is 0 0.4 meters times the force uh, will be the mass times the gravitational acceleration. The mass we are given as 20 kg times the gravitational acceleration is 9.81 and we are going to get a torque of 78.48 newton meter and then the brake power 2 pi nt 2 pi our rotational frequency we are given as 300 is 3600 it's given in meters per in, in revs per minute therefore we should we have to convert two seconds times the torque which is 78.48 and that uh, that will give us an answer of uh, 28 29 sorry 0.59 kilowatts then we go to the second question they say calculate the indicated power and mechanical efficiency that is question number b indicated power we know it's equals to mean effective pressure stroke length area rotational frequency and number of cylinders I mean effective pressure we are given is 700 stroke length we are also given 0 0.075 times the area we have the diameter therefore we can get the area divided by 4 times 0 0.075 squared and the rotational frequency is 3600 
divided by 60 since it is in per minute we want it to be in per seconds and we are dealing with a four stroke engine meaning two revolutions of the crankshaft for all these cycles to be completed it's with times and then we divide by two and we say times the number of cylinders which is five and this will give us our answer is 34.791 kilowatts it's in kilowatts because the mean effective pressure it's in kilo pascal and the mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency i'm going to write it i'm going to write it here we know mechanical efficiency it's equals to brake power divided by indicated power times 100 indicated power oh brake power first is 29.59 indicated power at 34.791 times 100 which will give us a mechanical efficiency of 85%. And then we go to question number three. They say, calculate the indicated thermal efficiency. Indicated thermal efficiency is the difference between the indicated power and the heat produced by the fuel. And then is brake power, it's sorry, indicated power divided by heat value times the mass should be mass per second times 100. We have the indicated power, we just calculated is 34.791. Heat value we are given it's in mega joules we want it to be in kilojoules since this it's in kilo watts we want it to be in kilo therefore we're saying four four we'll say times 10 to the power three here and then it will give us 44,500, which is 44,500 kilojoules per kg and then we'll say times the mass of the fuel mass of fuel mass of fuel it's in kg per hour therefore we are going to say the mass of fuel is 10.9 divided by 60 first 60 turns it from hours to minute and then we divide by another 60 turns it from minute to seconds or you can just say 3600 and then from here we are going to get our efficiency which is 25.82 percent that is our indicated thermal efficiency and if you get a question where they say the the, the 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 engine that you are dealing with let's say they say let's let's take they say it's a five cylinder four stroke double acting if they say it's a double acting double acting it's two therefore if when you get to this formula we are going to say uh times two because it's double acting from everything here you will just say times two because it's double acting and that is basically how we go about answering this particular question and it's basically the end of our lesson today i will see you on the next lesson